Hey there Bolters, in this tutorial we're going to cover version control. How to do this within Bolt and also use GitHub. Let's start off with version control within Bolt. So you'll notice every time the Bolt agent finishes a command, it explains what it's done in a short little sentence and it adds a bookmark icon next to it. So if you want to, you can save this option just by enabling the bookmark. We can then come up to the name at the top, open up version history, and here we can see every single change that's been made by the Bolt agent. We've got the option to rename it. So let's say you get to a working point of your app. You could be stoked and say, working, great. So we'll save that, or we could give it the name of the feature that you've just implemented. Also, notice that we can expand the bookmark versions and see every single bookmark that you've saved here. If you can get into the habit of using version history as you're building your project, I promise you it'll be worth it at some point in time. Also, bookmarking your features as you've finished building them and then clearing the context is a great habit to get into. Now it's time for GitHub, and it may seem a little intimidating for you non-developers out there, but there are some key benefits. Firstly, branching. Then you can see the diff or the difference in your code base. And thirdly, it's great for collaboration. To get started, you'll need a GitHub account. So just go to github.com and it's free to create an account. Once you've done that, jump back over into Bolt and we're gonna go into the top right and click this little GitHub icon. We're gonna log into GitHub. And because we're logged in in another window, it seamlessly connects them just like that. Now it's asking us to create a repository. A repository is your entire code base for one project. So let's give this the name community app. Oh, you can't do a space. That's right. So I'll just use the dash. Great. So just like that, we've created the repository. And if we go back into GitHub, I'll look at my repos. That's another short word for them. And you can see community app, what we just created has appeared here, updated now. So that's the first step. So the first thing we'll cover is branches. Now branches is basically creating another version of your existing code base where you can make changes to that. And then you can merge those changes back into the original code base. So if something went wrong, then you can always delete the branch or you can branch off the main again. And you don't need to worry about causing any issues with the existing production branch. So super easy to do. Let's go back up to the GitHub logo and we're going to come down here, create a new branch. We're going to call this front end branch. Now, after we've created it, let's see, we're now working on this front end branch and we're no longer on the main branch. If we want to switch back to the main branch, which is the default name for when uh, your first branch is created with your repo, you can just hit switch like so. Now let's switch back. And now we're on the front end branch again. Now let's build a new feature and we're going to merge this into the main branch from before. I've noticed that dark mode does not work when I'm submitting a project. Full stop. Please update the project submission page to work in dark mode. Let's jump over into GitHub while that's working. If we open the community app again, you'll now see it's got two branches. It's got the main branch and then also the front end branch, which we just created. It'll show when they've been updated and if they're behind or ahead. Now watch this number here. So that prompt just finished. Let's check it out. Great. It looks like it's mainly worked. I'll touch those up later. And now every time Bolt finishes one of the prompts, it counts as a commit to the branch, which is basically saving your progress along the way. Cool. So what if we jump back into our GitHub? Let's refresh the page. Now we can see that our front end branch is ahead of the main branch by one commit. What if we want to merge these changes into the main branch? We're happy with them. We like them. We're ready to go production with them. That's where we do something called a pull request. Let's come into front end branch. And it's saying front end branch has recent pushes. 
compare and do a pull request. We're going to say added dark mode. Often good to get in a habit to write what the descriptions are. And then we're going to say create pull request. And this is basically a proposal. It's saying that, hey, these are the changes that I've made and I want to push these changes into main. I want the main project branch to pull these changes into that branch. Now it's going to do a bit of a check. It says no conflicts with the base branch. And that's when we hit merge pull request. Confirm merge. It says the pull request was successfully merged and closed. You can delete the branch if you don't need it anymore, but let's jump back into Bolt. Now what I'm gonna do is let's jump back over to the main branch and we'll see if that change has come across. And there we go, dark mode, your very first PR. Now let's understand a little bit about diffs. So let's come back into, we're in the front end branch. We're gonna fix this little issue here. Notice I'll use a screenshot this time. We can just drop the screenshot directly into the chat. Look at the screenshot. You'll notice that this hasn't responded to dark mode. Please fix this for me. So Bolt's done a great job of implementing dark mode on this component here. Let's come back into our branches. We can see that our front end branch is now one commit ahead. So let's open up the front end branch. Now, not all the time do we have that PR component at the top. So we can come in here, this branch is one commit ahead, click on this, and by doing so, it'll show us the diff or the difference in the code. And if we look at it using a unified view, all the red shows the code that's been removed and all the blue shows the code that's been added. So you can see if you can understand a little bit of Tailwind that we've added this code here. We're making the text gray 300. Now, if we want to change to a split view, we can see the code before and the code after. Now, another thing to pay attention to is you can see which files have been changed. So notice that it'll say, updated image upload TypeScript. So I assume that image upload is a component that was created and it's just changing that one file, which we can see here, one file changed. And now this is kind of a good way to debug. You can look back through your pull requests and you can see all the files that have been changed at certain times. So if by chance you introduce a bug, you're then able to basically go back through all of your pull requests and you could look through the code and see where it's been introduced. Another thing that's becoming popular are tools like CodeRabbit, where you can basically install them into your GitHub or connect them. And it is basically another set of AI eyes that will look over all of these code changes and will basically identify, oh no, there's been a problem that it's changed this file when it shouldn't have. And if you're really going production level code, that's maybe something that's worth considering. So the final thing I want to show you is how to collaborate using GitHub. Now, this can be super powerful. Say there's something that's a little bit too technical for you and you're really struggling. There's a fantastic world of freelancers out there. So you can create a branch of your project. You can then share that branch with maybe a remote developer working somewhere else, pay them to make the changes that you want, and then you can pull those changes back into your main branch. So to do that, we just jump into the settings of your GitHub repository, come into collaborators, and just like this, you can add someone using their GitHub username or email. And there we have it, folks. There's an overview of how to use version control within Bolt, but then also take it to the next level industry standard of using GitHub to make sure that your projects stay secure and you can collaborate. I promise you, it may feel like it's a little bit extra work, but if something does go drastically wrong, it's incredible to come back and resort to a recently saved version. With that, good luck building, and I'm excited to see what you'll build with Bolt.